right, another day to start up. Let's open up this garage. What the heck happened to the truck? Uh-oh, let's get to it. So, if you don't know, Buck recently updated this truck. I don't know if this is how it reset or this is what Clutch wanted this color, but I really want to try a blue on blue. Uh, I don't know if Buck made it just for me or what, but that thing is popping. And I guess uh, Clutch can change it back if he wants to. It doesn't really matter to me, but I just wanted to uh, see... I just wanted to run a truck blue on blue for a little while. Before we do that, though, I need to go up there. Uh, we need to work on our finances a little bit. Go up to my computer. All right, so this is our FSN account. So you might see something. If, I don't know if you could see it or not, but uh, this number has grown. And I'm pretty sure it's because uh, people have donated money to us or it's just in game action so uh we get a lot of we got a lot of uh basically presents and i know you can rewards and then we can redeem all these so we get a lot of prizes i don't i think that's just on time or it might be some people i know you can so you can give anyone on here so looks like uh you could give it to Squad, you could give it to me, you could give it to Clutch, which is kind of cool because I'm pretty sure random people gave us uh, a gift box, but maybe I'm just wrong, but you can gift random people. I know we had a ton of gift boxes, which really helped this bottom line. We've also sold some import-export. Uh, I'm going to check that really quick because this is ever-changing, so... Changes to soybeans. Let's see. Ooh, Argent. So it looks like we could sell a, a load to Argentina. Do we have... Yes, we have 8,088. So let's try to sell Argentina. So we got some in Argentina. So let's try to sell there. Fill order. And we have sold, so we got a little bit more money. So I, we have it in four areas. So we have a warehouse in four different areas. So we have it in Greece. This is Greece is our new one, just because we're they're so high, as you could see. So right now Greece is not buying, which is unfortunate. It would be nice if this screen right here would tell you what's buying what, so you could just scroll through it. But it is what it is. And uh, Netherlands isn't buying soybeans either. All we have right now is soybeans to sell. Venezuela. Venezuela. I love saying that name. Nothing at Venezuela. So let's see about what we have. Uh, so we don't have anything in Argentina. We got some in Greece, it appears. And we got uh, about... 3,000 and so we got 10,000 still in Greece we got 3,000 in the Netherlands zero in the US and Venezuela is where we have uh, 20,000 so we still have a few a little bit more product to uh, sell but uh, it looks like our uh, money is going way up which is great for us that's why you see the cash going up so one thing we have to do we got to pay our invoice pay this quickly so that cuts down the price but we paid that off so uh, we are uh, slowly paying off that uh, loan there uh, if you don't know too clutch has been doing a lot of transport missions so you can still do a few mention missions and that's transporting so he uh transporting implements so he's been doing that just to try to get our cash flow right now our cash we got a whopping one thousand four hundred dollars so 
but the good thing is is we got seed in our seed tender so uh, I'm gonna take this truck down to the shop just to get it painted here quickly before we do that I wanted to do some uh, crop scouting a little bit so if you don't know our I'm really worried about our uh, crops over here. I'm not going to drive the truck because it'll run over our crops, so we'll shut that off here. As you see, our uh, oats here, it's doing amazing. Just look at all that good stuff here. Oats, amazing. The product I'm really worried about is this wheat because this is still not germinated. I'm a little bit concerned that it's not going to germinate. So I did plant this within the season's planting time, but it's not coming up, So, which is unfortunate. Uh, that's a lot of wasted seed. It's a uh, wasted crop land here. So, uh, man, that's, that's, that's tough right there. So most of it is basically uh, planted, but for whatever reason, some of it isn't uh, coming up and it didn't come up through the winter so hopefully it's just waiting but we're, we're really waiting for that first growth stage uh, also this whole pasture land that I planted so this hasn't come up either so the germination I'm a little bit worried about germination right now so that would be big for us and uh, crop that we get so our plan is to try to double crop that to immediately plant it into soybeans but if it doesn't come up in time it won't be ready to harvest in time which means we can't replant soybeans right in it we'll hurt our double crop so double crop is I think on this server important but the problem is is if we can't get it right on time and plant right on time we're not going to have the double crop ability so I'm going to race down here and uh, go uh, drop this truck off to the paint shop do a little modifications to it We're just going to pull in to the local shop here. A basically uh, one stop shop for this uh, area. They do everything here. They will repair trucks. They, you can buy equipment. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Alright, so this is the in shop simulator they have here. So we, I, I really just want to try a different color. I know, uh, I don't know if like I said, I don't know if Clutch changed this or not, so but I just really want to try this uh, this blue on blue. Uh, as you can see, so I think that looks great, but for whatever reason, so we're gonna bump this up to the 350, the F350 package, get the rims back on here, and that's for bumper bumper. I think I'm going to paint that blue also. I think that looks good. I can't decide if I want this in black. I think that does it in black. There, that in black right there. I think that kind of looks good. Maybe uh, try this in chrome. Yeah, that that right there kind of looks good to me. I don't know. Maybe you guys will have to let me know. Uh, the plow, plow prep. We're gonna keep on. No bumper guards. 
ramps. If you don't know, sometimes uh, farming simulator kind of, it seems like I always have this problem where it kind of diverts back to something else. So we'll bed add-ons, so like it took off our uh, toolbox there. Sometimes it does that. Uh, moon roof. Uh, actually, we have a moon roof right now. Uh, so this one I can't decide. Should I leave this off? I kind of like it off just because I think we get more clearance. You can see the tires better. Uh, does it have the gooseneck? Yes. It has universal passenger now. So uh, this is what we have to do. We've got to change it back to uh, King Ranch. So there we go. That is our package. I'm just wondering, is there one where you can get all black interior? That would be pretty sweet on uh, blue and black. I think. I don't know. I think we'll go back to uh, King Ranch just because I love how the tailgate looks on a King Ranch. There we go. I think that just looks so much better. A little bit of chrome on front, a lot of black in front, and we got universal passengers. We'll have to get the foldable uh, steps put back in. There we go. All right, now that we got that truck down at the shop getting painted, uh, I think I'm going to use a little blue here to pull out our seed tender. I'm going to fill up this seed and get it started planting here. Blue. A little blue always getting it done around here. Pull on this equipment. I think uh, my partner Clutch has been using a little blue a lot just to do some haul missions and everything. Which is working good, so uh, I don't think we could get this job done without a little blue around. There we go. Low blue is ready. So low blue does have the ugly looking skinny tires on right now. That's only because we are in fertilizer season. So we changed out the tires, put the skinny ones on there. I know I, I hate them too, but uh, when you play realistic and all that, you don't want to be running over more crop than what you have to. That's why we got the little skinnies on there. Let's fill up our expensive cedar here. Start this beast up. Alright, we are filling up. So hopefully we can fill this all the way up. So we got canola seed going in there. So we plan on planting some canola. Alright. Almost all the way out. Alright, so I'll shut off little blue. Alright, we better put our blinkers on. So we're heading down. So our, uh, our tanks are full. All of the fertilizer tanks, everything is ready. Looks like, uh, Spencer's TV's crew over here is, uh, starting to get ready for planting. They must be getting ready to put some soybeans in over here again. Alright, we're just pulling over here. So, I did notice one thing. There is a field coming up for sale pretty soon, but too bad we are probably broke. I wouldn't mind having that field, but it would be a lot of work keeping up with that field too. But, right now, we are having struggling just keeping up with the fields we have. So, I uh, think it'd probably be good if we... Uh, take the time to make sure that we can keep up unless we get some more helpers on the farm. Alright, so that's unfolded. 
So we are planting some canola here, flying around this field. So I don't think it's going to take too terribly long planting this field. So we have it uh, all chiseled up. So it should be the ground broken up. Now all we have to do is uh, plant in some good old canola crop. As you can see, the sun is setting, so hopefully we get this uh, crop in before the sun sets all the way. Uh, one thing I notice about this planter, and I don't know if it's just these trees on this map, but uh, it seems like they have weird collisions, like the branches do. So, most likely in real life you wouldn't break anything if you just barely touch a branch, but uh, here it will completely stop this tractor and planter and uh, leave you in its tracks but this planter is kind of high especially on the wings which I'm not really too used to you see how high that is it's, it stands actually higher than I am if you're looking at it so that might be the reason I just not used to planting with a planter this high up in there Field. I'm hoping I could get this done in one fill up of the seed containers. I know canola is a smaller seed, so I'm hoping it holds enough so we can uh, plant this whole entire field. But this field is uh, giant. Like I said before in my live stream, that this field is probably the same footprint as our whole farmyard. Pretty big field, so this is definitely gonna put us up with the big boys, Spencer TV and uh, Squad Farms and all them. They kind of got a head start from me and Clutch, but it's alright. So I got the second headland going here, so I do have a section all shut off on this planter. That's why I'm doing the headlands first here. Then I plan on doing the rolls next, of course, just like, uh, yeah, you're probably all like, oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. Steve, you're a regular freaking fill-in for the Captain Obvious commercials. Planting here, so this is going to be our last headland, make sure I'm not skipping anything really thought I'd put GPS on this tractor, but for whatever reason, it's not working. For me, at least. It's kind of unfortunate. This would be really nice to have uh, guidance control at this time. Getting this field planted so I'm sure I'm glad that we got this big planter because uh, it kind of helped run through the crops pretty quickly so running at this speed running it does have some issues with it the center portion of it for whatever reason sits a little high so sometimes the seed depth isn't correct and it doesn't uh, plant properly which is a little bit annoying I don't know if it just doesn't we have an issue raising them tires up high enough or what 
but I wish it would uh, keep all the planter sections in line better, but other than that, it works pretty good. I think because a lot of the weight's pulled off the side, off these uh, support beams on the sides there, and which pushes them row sections down, or the uh, drill sections, whatever you want to call it, down a little bit, and that leaves the center up a little bit, which is annoying, but oh well. Alright, so it's getting dark out here, but I think we uh, beat the darkness, at least the, before the sun went all the way down, but uh, right now we are on our last pass, we're just turning around right here. Get on our last little patch here that's our last patch of soil we need to plant we planted this big field didn't take us really that long just a few hours not too bad it's weird how this planter lifts up them front tires I guess it's probably so compaction or turn turning yeah, you wouldn't want them front tires to be in the ground while it's uh, turning like that because that would uh, definitely uh, tear out some crops with uh, turning, pulling them sideways. Put the planter down right here and take off again. The planter's pretty wide, so we're going to have to shut off a few rows over here. Not too bad, but uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here on the FSN Multiplayer Tournament. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.